hi guys welcome back to my channel here another interesting video i have for you guys today i have my friend with me um yulia and i will be assisting you today oh you. thank you thank you so if you're new here welcome and if you're a returning subscriber i'm happy to have you you guys have showed me so much love i am so excited my birthday just last week yeah i don't know when you'll be watching this video so i celebrated my my birthday and it was a wow the views the likes the happy birthday wish i was so excited i was mind blown so today let's dive into our video today we have um our wonderful ninja three in one food processor Woo! as you can see uh, this is a, a food processor and it consists of a kitchen machine a blender and a smoothie maker. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's why it's called 3-in-1, uh, uh, Ninja 3-in-1. And we will now uh, see if this machine really uh, really does what it says on the box. Like you can see here, it says uh, that it mixes, uh, uh, mm -hmm. makes smoothies. Smoothies, um, shakes, um, salad. Um, burgers? <laughs> oh God, I can't, I can't wait to explore this. Really, this one is really interesting for me. And dips, yeah. So dips, dips, yeah. And um, sauces, right? I uh, can blend um stew um how will I put it? You can blend anything, like anything you want to use to make in stew. You can blend it, sauce. So you can bake with it, and yeah. So. See, I really don't want to. I just want to go into the box and check what it's all about, really. I haven't used it before. I just have good reviews of it. So, but I want to try it on my own to see how it how it really works. If everything that they said is true and give my own review on it. And I have my friend here who will also make his own uh, comments on how he find it. And so we're still doing this. So you get a natural um, review on this. Not I'm not trying to do any ads on this video. And by the way, I got this um, on my birthday for a really good price. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you are trying to buy something like this, wait till when it's reduced, you know, and get it. It's always good. And the normal price is 200. I guess I've checked it online. The usual price is 200. Right now for this December um, holiday period and everything, you can also have it. It's right now on 170 euros. So please go and check it out. And let's see. Let's let's, see let's opposite. It worth the yes, price. exactly. Let's see if it worth the price. So we have the the what is this? The menu, right? The warning. Can you please open it and see what is it? These are the these are the documents, the documentation. <laughs> the document. <laughs> the big uh, document. Warnings, uh, uh, warning. How to use it, how right? How to use it. Instruction manual. And of course, like, uh, of course, like with any uh, kitchen machine, a lot of warnings. Don't put your hands in there when it's running, uh, and so on. So. <laughs> yeah, this is how it looks. Yeah. And also, it has um, a, recipe book. a recipe book. Exactly, you can have so. Oh God, Japat! See, I'm I'm really hungry right now. Looking at this thing, so <laughs> please let's go ahead and open this stuff and see how it works, and then how we can do this. Yeah. So this is what we have first. So keep it just here. See, uh, these are the contents of the box. Uh, this is the uh, main unit, the base unit, uh, the motor, the kitchen machine, the blender, the smoothie maker, uh, a grating disc. And please be careful with this. It's almost 
cut my hand. Be careful when you handle it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, the dough mix, the dough maker, dough mixer. I think this goes in in the. Um, I don't know. Maybe here, right? I guess it has to go <laughs> in. The menu. Do you know one thing? Who reads menu? Please, if you read the menu, please come down in the comment section and write if you read menu. I don't, really, I don't read menu. I just do my try and error, right? <laughs> but for you guys, we'll go to the menu and get everything done properly. So, guaranteed that today I will read the menu or he will read the menu. <laughs> so, let's see. Ah. Uh, it's an adapter. It's, it's the adapter for this... Uh... Okay, so it's adapter for this, so you can just insert this way and you can blend. So we're trying everything, and then you see how it really works actually. So, guys here we are we want to make something delicious are you hungry i am hungry so i have this recipe here so which i want to try the idea for carrots cake so but i don't know how it works so please let's figure it out and this is the the main unit the base unit which you okay. uh, which has the motor and as you can see here are the program buttons and the important part about this machine is actually that it's intelligent. It recognizes uh, which attachment is attached to it and only activates the functions uh, which are usable for, uh, for this unit. If you are blending, it disables everything that had nothing, had nothing, had nothing to do with blending. Mm -hmm. If you attach uh, the mixer, it disables everything that had, not, had nothing to do uh, with mixing and okay. so on. So, uh, so let's try so, uh, so this. Uh, this is the kitchen machine unit, which you can also, with these attachments, uh, use for normal uh, mixing, uh, for no, mixing or slicing, uh, slicing uh, into fine pieces. Uh, this one is for dough, right? This is dough. For dough. For this, dough. Is a, this is a dough mixer. Exactly. And then this is it's one a, for slicing. For okay. very fine slicing. Fine but what slicing. we want, obviously, want to do is to chop these carrots into fine slices. With this, with this attachment, mm -hmm. and for this, uh, for this attachment here, you can see the uh, the blade. And uh, for this attachment, we need this adapter. We put it in there. Mm -hmm. Then the disc comes on here, and now you can attach the whole unit. And this one. Yeah, you can also put it on there later. So, okay. Uh, it's just uh, it's just the lid, so that's not really that important. And now we can uh, attach the unit uh, to the base unit. Uh, okay. But we have to make sure that it's uh, the right way. And you just put it in. Let's, let's see how it works. Oh, easy. Mm -hmm. So first, like what I understood, like you just insert it the way it is. Anyhow. It's a twist. Uh, twist. Anyhow, it fits, and then. Okay, no, no, you can't do it this way. So he has to do it this way. Okay. okay. It's a twist mechanism. Ah, now it's locked. Twist mechanism. Now it's, uh, now it's locked. locked in. And now we put the lid on there. Again with the twist mechanism. I think the other way around. No. Okay. As you can see, here is an arrow. An, an arrow. Oh. And these two arrows have to come together so that they can actually uh, lock together. It has mm. to cross the yeah, right now. Okay, let's try it again. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, before you undo this, it has to be pressed here. There's a yeah, exactly. click here. Now it's locked. Now it's really locked. Uh, this is, of course, uh, an important function it. of this machine because uh, now you cannot open it. As long as this is uh, as long as it's rotating, and so to open it again, you have to really unlock it. You have to press this. Uh, you have to press this button here on the machine. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. 
That's interesting. So and now from this uh, from this unit, the base unit knows which uh, which unit is attached and will only enable uh, uh, these buttons, uh, which are actually useful uh, for uh, for this kind. Or as you can see down here, the manual buttons. You can you can of course always uh, simply let it uh, run manually. Low, middle, high, or mm -hmm. in pulse little pulses so that it also uh, that it only uh, works as long as you are pressing it and immediately stops as, as soon as you release the button okay let's try it so let's turn it uh, it's on yeah okay so all these three is on we have the chop the puri and the mix so what we want to do now we want the the chop so we'll try the chop right let's try chopping it so put it and then I will use this to press it. So press the chop. Um, battery problem. So I will just show it again. I've already done the first batch. So when I found out my camera wasn't recording. So I have to do it again. So this, we have another one. I'll try it. This is the little way you can push it in. So I put it here. And then he press the right one. Oh, it's on. Start it again, and now we have to. Uh, you have to, we have to activate the program, and uh, oh no. Simple, yeah. Simple. As, you, as you see, here is a counter and a, a timer, so yeah. it uh, really is an automatic program which uh, uh, push, which uh, pulses it by itself. So now here's another program and another one, and here uh, you can of course do it uh, just as you want. You can pulse it whenever you want. <laughs> Or you can low, high. Let's try the high one and see. The noise is much. Let's try and do high. It's high right now, right? Okay. So you have to press high to So let's see how it looks. First of all, click on this and then Release move. Button. Release button. It's called. So be careful. Let's see. The blades are sharp. Yeah. And as you can see, beautifully chopped. They're beautifully chopped carrots. Chopped. I don't have to stress myself anymore to chop my carrots. They are done completely. So now we want to grate the carrots and not chop them. And to do this, we simply have to turn over the disc. Because as you see, now there are, uh, is the grating side. Now we put it back, to, uh, back in there. So. Put the lid back on. Yeah. Again, uh, be sure that that, that, that it's uh, locked the correct way. The two arrows have to move over left. This one has to get, get to get here. For the release mechanism. And now we can do the whole thing again. Because uh, simply the side has been switched. So now I would pre uh, I would recommend low for this. Uh... Mm -hmm. Let's try it on low. <laughs> No, uh, this uh, was the manual button. 
the menu the menu buttons are on as long as you uh, when you press it until you press it again then it's off. Yeah. Try moving your hand. Let's see. <laughs> It has timer, right? Not the menu ones. Right? The program buttons are these. These are okay. the timer ones. These were the manual ones. It means uh, it starts as soon as you press the button and then it uh, continues until you press it again. Oh, okay. Okay. And now, uh, no, we have to move it from this clip. <laughs> and this, what have left? <laughs> now, as you can see, beautifully grated carrots. Very nice. So let's put yeah. nicely sliced. Mm -hmm. and that's, I really like it. Mm -hmm. And that's uh, why I said for uh, for grating or cutting, uh, the low uh, the low setting is best because if it's too fast, it doesn't really come out good. Maximum just means that it's extremely fast, but fast doesn't automatically mean good. So we're going to try this one. So, um, with the chopping blades. With the chopping blades. Exactly. So please show us how it's still done like it's this. Pretty much done uh, like the other one. You just put another attachment into it. Let's attach it on there. Now. Uh, the lid, of course, come, only comes in after you know. You, now you put your ingredients in there because, of course, now you want to blend something that's already in the bowl. So you now have to put it in the bowl before you uh, put it on and uh, turn it on. So we are trying carrots. The carrot is really hard. So, but let's see how it comes out. And of course, decide what strength you want to use. Do we want it really fine, or do you want it just a little? Because of course you can also you can really make it fine so that it's pretty much just a puree. <laughs> this has to attend this. Okay. These two here have to be together because only then the release mechanism works. So you can Okay, so we'll try it on and it still has the same three yeah. on as you well. You can see it's, it's uh, you can, for example, mix, puree, or and just chop. chop. And now you have a first. So, which one are we going to do first? We'll try the chop, right? Chop is a little bit slower, so it really is just chop. Wow, this is amazing. This is amazing. I can't believe my eyes. This is so good. Do you think it's the same thing? Mm -hmm. and, uh, remember, this was just the slow setting. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> this is amazing. Like it also has a, a, puree, a puree option. So it really can uh, make it so fine that it's pretty much uh, a puree. I will get this out so that you can see it properly. It's so fine and just the slow. This is the best for your cakes. Cakes mixture. This is amazing. You can see. 
It's so fine. Mm -hmm. It's fine. Like, it's really, really fine, yeah. Like, look at it. Look at it. Oh my goodness. I love this. You have so many options. So, what we got was this was from the slime, right? Oh, thank you. And then we got this as well. And we got this from the last one. So, you can make a lot of options. A lot of options. I can't wait to explore them. Like, use them. And for me, it's 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 really good. What do you think? The length is what it does. Uh, it's, uh, it, it's, it can do uh, uh, rough slices. It can uh, uh, do medium ones, and it can do really, really fine ones. Really, really fine. I mean, just just look at this. It's uh, <laughs> it's incredible. Uh, it's amazing. Yeah. It's, pretty, uh, it's pretty much for all your needs, whatever your recipe requires. So yeah, it's definitely seriously. This 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 is my favorite, you know. And just with low, not high, with low. And mm -hmm. so if we do it high, it gets really fine. Like it's a, it becomes a puree. A it puree. Really a puree. This is amazing. So I have all my stress. All your stress, all everything you're looking for in one machine. I keep this is the best, um, the best achievement, the best um, option you can get for yourself. Like it can do everything. When they said three in one, I was thinking it can has only it has only three options, but really it has so many options. Yeah, this is just uh, one option uh, on the box. It's just the kitchen machine. This is all just the kitchen machine. Yeah, from the... Just from one. Just from one. This one I just showed you, but there are still more you can explore with this kitchen machine. So I'm done find it. So we have to see the next one. So this one I am really I'll give it a a big yes. <laughs> what do you think? I give it a big yes, a big yes. So let's try the smoothie machine and the other ones and see how it comes out. So guys, now I have mangoes, strawberries, and berries, all of them in one. I don't know, they are frozen, so I like having this in my fridge. So let's try them and see how we will make a spontaneous smoothie. And one special thing I found that in this one is that it works very well. The previous blender I usually have... Um, it stops automatically when there is something frozen ice. So this one, like the re recommendation was that it's really, really good. So let's see if it's really good. Yeah. So let's go. So, how to close it? You have to insert it with this before it closes. And if you want to release it, there's a release button as well here. So you need to really make sure that you cannot start it unless it's uh, uh, close to the lid. As you see, now we do have just two options. Mix and mix very well, so uh, blend and blend fine. So uh, yeah, I would say with uh, frozen maybe fine would be this, the really powerful one. No water in it. We want to see how it functions without no liquid, just the frozen. Is this serves as our eyes, right? So let's see how it works, right? We we'll use the max. Let's see how it works with the max blend. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm really interested to see how it works. We will be able to do this. <laughs> oh, 
Ooh. Ooh. What just <laughs> happened? <laughs> no problem whatsoever. What just happened? I felt like something is coming to an end, an earthquake right now. Because they, I don't know if you saw my reaction, right? Yeah, oh <laughs> God! I wasn't mm -hmm. expecting that actually. To be frank, with all this, I did. They got frozen, rock solid, and uh, now, well, release. Really Let's see how it looks like. Wow. Yes, please show them. Let me move this one so that's. Yeah. Wow! Can you see that? Yeah. Without any extra liquid, it's pretty much. Wow. For a real, uh, for a real uh, smoothie or something, you would now of course need more liquid, but definitely at no problem. Forming them into some kind of paste. That's how it looks. I don't know if you can see it. Sorry. So, yeah. So it works. It works. And it works perfectly. You know, so now I will just add my smoothie machine, the liquid one, the smaller one, right? Yeah, I will add it and then the see. Smoothie maker. But it really works for eyes. Whatever you want to crush, it crushes it. Like, really crushes it. But, hmm, how do you rate this? It's it's good. <laughs> Let's see how fine it is. Yeah. Oops. I read it tasty out of ten. Tasty out of ten. <laughs> Like it's, it's really good, like really, yeah, really good. Like it crushes it. I told you my previous blender would just stop completely, but this worked perfectly. The only thing I will tell you to be aware of is that don't do it in the night when that yeah. was sleeping. Yeah. It's really loud. Yeah. It's really loud. The come knocking. <laughs> so. Yeah, you got it, and I find it good. Like, that's the only thing I would say there's a problem in it, and it works so well without liquid. That is another thing I found really good, you know? Mm -hmm. You don't have to melt it or wait for it to dissolve. It works perfectly. So, perfect, perfect, perfect. I give it 9 over 10. And the other one, I think give it 10 over 10. The other one is 10 over 10, right? So this is for what it's there for, yeah. Yes. This is ten out of ten. I don't think it could be any better. Yeah. So, so this is nine over ten because of it's too loud. I think there's no other way they can do this without making it this loud. I think that's the um to get a good machine like this, yeah. it has to be loud. To be, uh, to be good, it has to be powerful, and if it's powerful, exactly. then it is loud. So, yes. Yeah. Yes. You were so calm. You didn't. <laughs> I well, jumped. Well, I mean, <laughs> what was to be expected? You pretty much put rocks in there, and now, it, and now it will start. Of course, it will be all kinds of sounds, and it will uh, yeah. rattle and everything. Yeah, obviously. So interesting. So, but I was, I was also, I was really excited to see what will now happen <laughs> with this pretty much blocks of ice, yeah. and now will it be able to crush them? Will it stop? What will it? What will it do? But as you can see, no problem whatsoever. Yeah. Amazing. Let's try the next one, okay? Are you interested? Let's try the next one. I know it to be easy, but let's see how it works, okay? See you now. And uh, last one, we have the, the smoothie maker. This one is uh, very simple uh, but very effective. You simply uh, fill in all your ingredients into this jug. Then this is screwed on top. You put it in there. It gets mixed into a fine, uh, in a fine paste, into a smoothie, and you're done. So, as you can see, we now here have our three ingredients: bananas, apples, and this uh, paste we made before uh, from frozen berries. And uh, now let's make a smoothie in this delicious smoothie. So. Let's put some apples in there. 
Bananas. A little bit of our berries. Put in everything. <laughs> now just liquid, milk, and uh, water. How much do you think it's is good? Mm -hmm. A little bit of water. A little bit. Of water. Yes. Okay. okay, that's enough. So, close it. Now we put it into the machine until it clicks, and we're ready. So now we have three options: uh, uh, the rough, fine, and uh, puree. Well, which would you say is the best? Uh, I think we should go with puree, right? Yeah. Puree? Okay, let's yes. try puree. <laughs> Puree really means puree. It really does uh, <laughs> a lot. In this. Let's open it and see what we got out of it. Mm. Mm. Look at that. Nice. Good form. It's okay. So look at that. Tasty. That's a tasty smoothie. Okay. Mm. Okay. I was not really considerate. <laughs> <laughs> Let's taste it and see. Definitely, this is mine. Let's taste it. And cheers. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Yeah. Cheers. First taste, you guys. You guys will have the first taste. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Mecca. Wonderful. Wonderful, right? <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. Mm. This was the best. Yeah. Definitely. Really good smoothie here. Yeah. This this is this tastes good. <laughs> really good uh, smoothie and very easy way to make smoothies and perfect. <laughs> I can't give anything else but a ten out of ten. It's absolutely. For me, 10 over 10. It's uh, amazing. 10 over 10. Yeah. If you want to take your delicious smoothie with you, it also, of course, comes with this bit. Simply uh, screw it on there. And now you have your wonderful smoothie on the go. Cheers. So, guys, I hope you enjoy this whole review. Um, yeah, so excited. How you found it i really give my 10 over 10 for everything so okay i'll put it 9 over 10 yeah in the total and the best i must say so you can have it in your kitchen you can have it everywhere you can take it along with you to work to office anywhere to school you can have it and sip it all the time so yeah i hope you enjoyed it Stay tuned, my videos, like, comment, and subscribe. Share to your friends. Yeah, see you next time. Bye.
That's right.